Hi, this is Maciek from DCX, and I would like to show you the steps and process related to the installation and commissioning of the 120 kilowatts immersion rack system with the 120 kilowatts immersion optimized dry cooler, so the rack bundle which we normally sell and deliver to the customers. So we have a few steps to follow, and the first one is unboxing of the system. And as you can see here, and this is what I'm talking about, custom package uh, made to be shipped uh, by uh, C and also by air. So we size it exactly so we can fit to the uh, to the uh, air cargo. And uh, the package is 2.5 meter long and 120, 130 uh, centimeters uh, uh, wide and 160 high. So uh, we have a large custom package. It actually uh, it weighs 1.2 ton, so it's pretty heavy with all the goodies, all the, all the accessories, everything is there. Uh, it's all there, everything what you need to start your uh, system and, you know, commission it and start uh, mining at scale with the capacity of one 120 kilowatt package in the kind of hot summer days. So let me first unbox it and uh, I will let you, I will show you all the components which you get in the whole package before you will get into that into that uh, position before you'll be able to start the system. So, uh, as you can see, we ship it properly packaged. Uh, there is address on every side of that package, which is important. Uh, and uh, they are marking how to handle it. Uh, we hope, and it, uh, for 99% of packages arrive customers without any issue. There are some, uh, some minor issues uh, when it's abused during the, during the way. But we ship it from Poland, Europe, uh, to every continent right now. And I think it should arrive your uh, your place safely. We usually ship with the DHL or other, you know, uh, recognized for, for other, and we ship door to door. The only thing what you need to remember is the, uh, is the team to uh, unload it. And it's basically for people, for people's job. Uh, job to be able to, especially for the 120 kilowatt dry cooler section, because to unload it, you will need to uh, to uh, to have proper support. So, four people would be required for the uh, unloading of that of that unit. Let's unwrap the uh, the package. You will need to f make sure you are unloading on. Uh, you're not cutting the uh, any of the components. So just you know, be reasonable and you know, do it slowly. No rush. And make sure you are doing that, you know, uh, properly, so you will not damage anything. During the uh, unboxing, please make sure you are, you know, taking care and you observe any, you know, dents, any issues they, they may be here. We really, really take care to pack everything correctly, but uh, do not rush. <laughs> make sure you have photo documentation of your package. Then, if there will be any issue, we'll be able to uh, raise the complaint or you know follow up the procedure. All the packages come your way fully insured, so uh, do not worry if there will be any issue. We'll just replace the unit, and uh, yeah, we'll make sure that that you are satisfied. So we unpacked everything without breaking a sweat, and uh, I just want to quickly show you what's inside of that of that package and what you what we are looking for. So uh, please, again, please make sure there's a, there are no dents, no uh, you know uh, cut edges, no uh, damage here. Just and if there's anything, then just please observe. Now, especially take care about the content, uh, com components, uh, about the Dracula component, which is pretty important to just make sure that you don't have that you know damage bent uh, or anything uh, manifold component as you can see we are packing that properly but uh, just make sure it's you know it's uh, it's not damaged it's not bent this is pretty important those coils are pretty delicate so just make sure you are you are fine with, with that one the bottom component also the same and then now i need to to show you the back of the unit and that's that's pretty important that you not have any dents here just observe in detail the back of the component it must not be uh, damaged bent or uh, or pushed because there's there's a dedicated uh, fin pack or coil pack and, uh, and that must be you no know, uh, that must be not a damage and any 
issue just please observe carefully it is no uh, no significant problem with the uh, component so inside of that of that package you will see lots of goodies on top it's you know fully loaded and here you will get the components of the frame the big component here is a rack system so the rack is delivered as a flat pack for your assembly you have the one inch tubing and you will have two inch tubing uh, so you can connect the manifold or black box uh, to the racks and you have the solvents and you have all the dielectric fluid thermosafe which we deliver the best uh, dielectric fluid you can get here on that side you have also the frame which allow you the maintenance platform which allow you to retract the uh, uh, the uh, enclosures from the from the rack so all all here and uh, it should arrive you in that shape. It should be no, you know, no issue at all. And uh, now, if that's fine, if there are no dents, no problems, no uh, no damage, then we can, you know, uh, unpack everything and just go into the detail what you get with unpacking, right? So I did break the sweat this time, but uh, I managed to unwrap everything and uh, since we check that everything is fine with the package then we can go uh, and inspect all the goods all the goodies which we add to the package the whole uh, idea was that that will be a kind of ikea kit so everything you know available on site uh, everything what you need to start your operation uh, within a day or so so um, let me go through all the components which we have here uh, we are shipping right now two kind of manifolds uh, and the reason we use them is to we want to help customers to avoid any plumbing part of that installation. So how to run the system without the you know plumbing? If you like to you know transfer lots of uh, heat from the enclosures inside of the uh, building to the outside regular. So we we designed the simple black box package. So basically, uh, free fittings, uh, supply and return fittings for free enclosures, and uh, two inch fittings for the connection to the uh, with the main hose with the primary loop which is connect connecting the enclosures with the dracula uh, and so we have the uh, thermo manometer manometer uh, air vents and uh, inlet valves we have the expansion valve not not to be seen here and that component should be uh, mount uh, nearby the rack to supply the, the flow to the enclosures we recently changed that unit uh, since our customers expecting more scale-out packages. We are shipping right now and changing that unit to the rack manifold, which is uh, exactly the same. Uh, it's a little bit bigger, but uh, it allows us to, you know, the new frame allows us to mount it to on the on the frame and to supply the flow for the two nearby racks. So we have, you know, more space for the expansion if you be able to expand your uh, your installation so and that's one actually is a little bit bigger because it's designed for the scale of system so multiple racks like tens of racks uh, in one row normally it would be a little bit smaller and more uh, compact mm, uh, all those components uh, are based on the stainless steel these are painted but uh, normally we use stainless steel components just to be safe to be on the safe side mm, for the long time the term of the uh, of the uh, operation and as, as you can see here that manifold this is that component is you know packed here uh, carefully so uh, you know we avoid any damage during the way and um, uh, what we have also is the pump pretty important component we're using velo as a as a standard uh, component and we normally would use from now on we are switching for from the yonos maxo uh, pump to the uh, to the Velo uh, Stratos Maxo, uh, so the smart pump uh, unit. Uh, that pump uh, uh, allows us to uh, reject the heat from the free enclosures altogether, pretty overclock also. And uh, as I said, you know that's the solid component. Uh, the mm, and we don't have any problems with that fans for uh, since a long time. So we are using Velo. Uh, the support is flawless. And uh, as I said, the only thing which we are changing right now is moving into the smart pumps. You will still be able to, to order the a little bit less expensive uh, typical pumps, uh, as you can see here. Uh, but as I said, uh, for the most of the customers, we uh, suggest smart unit because uh, uh, that component is uh, uh, allows you to monitor that independently 
both monitor and manage that from your cell phone, from your uh, mobile phone, from, from the Velo proprietary app. So we're using that one. So we have the pump and uh, now the connection between the manifolds uh, and the pump to the drag cooler. We're having the, uh, the hoses. So it's all uh, package uh, with your uh, with your system altogether. We're using two types of hoses, uh, with the silver strip and with the green strip, and both are just fine. Hot water or hot water and steam, the same pressure rating, so six bars, and uh, you'll be fine using them for a long time. They are resistant for U to UV, so uh, no problems with, with them since two years, uh, almost we're using them, and these are just fine. One inch connection DN25. It, uh, it, it is used to connect between the uh, black box and the fittings on the enclosures. So two types of, of hoses. And uh, that one, you can, you, you can find both types in your package. Now the big one, the big hose, which is uh, DN50 or two inch hose. This is the connection which we used to connect the uh, uh, the manifold with the with the dry cooler, so so that hose it's also UV resistant and also as you can see silver strips, so for the steam and hot water, these are very uh, rigid hose, which will serve you for years. The rest of the package, we have some small elements which we which we have here, and you will get the one large package, which is uh, which is uh, uh, pressure pump or the test pump which we actually used for filling the system and to pressurize the system to make sure that, this, that the system is fine for the, for the operation. And we usually hidden here, we, we hidden here uh, some of the you know, additional components which we shipped. So let me go through, through this quickly. There's that pump, which I just mentioned, with the fitting, and uh, we use, using that to, to fill, the, fill the system. We are connecting that to the black box. Now, the rest of the package is some of some of the delicate components here. These are these are the sensors, temperature sensors. Three of them, uh, and those uh, thermistors, those sensors may be immersed into the fluid. We are using silicon wrapping here, so it can be you know uh, immersed into the fluid. So you can take the temperature from the fluid. You can connect uh, that. We, we are, you can mount the, the uh, on the outlet, so having the outlet temperature or the inlet temperature at the bottom of the enclosure and that uh, allows you to monitor the system to get the alarms to get the notification sms messaging uh, if the temperature will go over the expected uh, threshold so the sensor and that's that one is you know designed for the rack system supplied by this small power supply and that's here and uh, we also hide here universal fan emulators so we're using fan emulators uh, to, uh, to simulate the fans without using the custom firmware. It's not always convenient or there's not always you know, firmware available. So using those four pin or we have also six pin version uh, of the fan emulators. These are universal and that controller which is, which is here, it adapts for the, uh, to the speed of the, of the fans which you are, which you are using. So uh, these are one-time purchase uh, components, which also ship with the with all the packages. Uh, additives, which you would need to, to use uh, just to protect your installation in the long term. Uh, one uh, con concentrated uh, uh, additive for the long term of operation, just to make sure that you will have no deposits in the long run, no fauna, no flora growth. So this is something which we also add. However, if you will be located in the, in the colder uh, uh, season, in the colder uh, area, you'll need to use proper glycol, uh, glycol mixture. We don't. Uh, we have also different fluids, but uh, there's one fluid which you don't ship is the demineralized water. We don't ship water. Now the power distribution. Uh, we uh, recently, recently we were shipping the. Just. <coughs> now the power distribution. Recently we were shipping uh, breaker boxes. So. Nothing fancy, typical modular breaker box, uh, you know, properly sized with the um, Legrand or Schneider electric components. We usually uh, use Legrand components. So as you can see, B20, uh, uh, B20 uh, breakers and uh, 63 amps uh, overcurrent protection. So those, uh, those breaker boxes, 
were shipped and they working just fine uh, for 50 hertz or 60 hertz and uh, that's kind of you know universal standard uh, the only problem only issue with those breaker boxes was that it required the uh, it required the cutting the cables so recently we started shipping pdus and this is something which will be uh, uh, available from now in our portfolio speedu size for the uh, s19 connection or uh, watch minor uh, connection so uh, with the fully overclocked uh, enclosure and please remember uh, the enclosure can transfer up to 40 kilowatt of the heat from the uh, from the uh, from the uh, from the minus so it means that you'll be able to overclock your minus up to uh, four kilowatts and uh, actually with the scale out systems we can overclock it uh, up to 46 kilowatts so you'll be able to to push as much as 5.7 by 5 5.75 maybe 5.8 from the from the enclosure and uh, that means pretty uh, pretty high power rating so we are ready for that it's 57.6 kilowatts uh, capable uh, pdu the last component which we need for the rack, fr uh, rack system is the rack frame. It's actual rack frame. So here you can see uh, components being delivered as a flat pack and uh, pretty easy to assemble. Uh, there's one component which you will recognize, which is a maintenance platform. So simple maintenance platform, which allow you to retract the rack, the bottom uh, rack or the middle rack from the, from the rack frame. And, the, and the, that big one, also delivered to be assembled locally, just connecting few uh, few bars. It's the complete rack, rack frame, very stable, very solid, and safe to operate uh, in the different uh, different um, locations. And uh, last but not least, uh, we have the fluids, which we not normally use. Uh, there are two kinds of fluids which we distribute. One is uh, Thermosafe R, and uh, I don't want to brag, but that's the best dielectric fluid you can get in terms of the parameters, technical parameters, and it's also most affordable uh, compared to other dielectric uh, fluids with the more or less the same properties. Um, fully synthetic, uh, de dedicated and designed for the cooling of the ele electronics, one-time purchase. You will never need to you know, replace that for the long term of operation. And we have the solvents which we normally distribute. And the solvents uh, are meant to for only one thing. If you ever have to remove your uh, system, your miner from the uh, immersion, if, if you like to send it for the maintenance, then you can use that solvent to emulsify that fluid and to uh, remove the uh, remove the any residue of the dielectric fluid from the uh, from the um, from the hardware, so this is this is only uh, this is the only situation when we need when we need the solvent for the preparation of minus. We are not using the solvents. We don't wasting that one because that will then that will serve you for the for the long years also. Um, and uh, for the preparation of the minus, we will only use IPA uh, alcohol, isopropyl uh, alcohol, and that's the only thing which what we need. And. Um, Finally, we have the uh, enclosures, obviously, and we have the uh, drag wheel system. Uh, and the drag wheel system is something which we are really proud of. That system can uh, may work in that position, so vertical one or with the horizontal one. Uh, with that package, you will get uh, here somewhere. You'll find the legs for that for that units, and you have two types of legs: one for the vertical position, and the other one for the tabletop. And uh, all the components, all the uh, fan controllers, all the electronics is hidden in the compartment here. So we're really proud of that, uh, of that unit. So this is all with the unwrapping, unboxing and uh, presentation of the uh, 120 kilowatts uh, immersion rack uh, bundle. That package can be yours and it can be ordered uh, through the uh, CryptoClinic uh, EU website. So just go to the www.cryptoclinic.eu website, use the green get the quote button and just uh, just get one that's the most dense package you can get in the market right now and it's available normally we ship within the 7 to 14 days those packages are pretty easy to get it's air shippable so you can uh, you know just choose the option of the air cargo and get one in the within two weeks and yeah and it's yours to to mine the you'll be able to start the operation with 120 kilowatts uh, system at the hot summer days, so 95 Fahrenheit, uh, 35 degrees Celsius, 
the hot summer days, it will support your systems. It will allow you to run without that, that freaking noise. And this is, uh, and you, it will allow you to overclock your miners to the maximum at your location. So uh, uh, we uh, invite you to our website. Uh, please follow up uh, with our social media channels and we will show you how the immersion cooling system works. Thank you.